Good morning. We're going to look for the next few days at Jesus' I am statements in John's Gospel. And it says in John chapter 8, verse 12, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Interestingly, he doesn't say, I'm a light in the world, or I'm one of many lights. He says, I'm the light of the world. In other words, without Jesus, we're just in the dark. Without Jesus, there is only darkness. He claims to be the only light in this world, the light that has come from heaven to shine God's mercy and kindness and goodness and to show the way, to show the truth, to light everything up, to bring everything out into the open, Jesus says, that's me. I am the light of the world. And he says, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. It's interesting, he says, whoever follows me, not just who believes in me, but who actually takes steps of faith and comes to me. You need to come into the light today. We need to live in the light. We need to follow Jesus. Imagine you living in a village or a town that was completely dark without any light. But one day a light comes into the village. At one end of the village, the light begins and it's someone who's full of light, it's Jesus. But he's moving. Jesus is always moving in this earth. He's moving through time and history. He's moving through your life. He's moved into the nations and those who move with him are wise. Those who get out of their house and out of their normal life and change and repent and follow him walk in the light. He says, whoever follows me will not walk in the darkness ever again. Why? Because you'll be walking with the light. You'll be walking with Jesus every day. So you won't be in the darkness. That implies that we must come to him we must keep taking steps every day of seeking and following and obeying and listening to Jesus. Then we will walk in the light. If you drift away from Jesus, brothers and sisters, you will end up back in the darkness. And it's possible that you're in some very dark place today. But be of good cheer because Jesus has overcome the world and he's the light of the world for you today. And it says in the Bible that if we walk in the darkness and claim to have fellowship with Jesus, actually we're, we're lying, we're not living by the truth. But if we come to the light as he is the light, then we have fellowship with each other and the blood of Jesus, his son, will cleanse us from all sin. Do you need to come into the light today? Come out of that darkness. No more secrets, no more darkness, no more hiding and pretending. Come out, come to the light of Jesus. Confess your sins, open your mouth and confess them. Open your mouth to someone else and come into the light with no more hidden things and you'll experience the joy of fellowship with Jesus, with his people. You'll experience the cleansing of his precious blood and you'll be walking in the light again not stumbling through the darkness, not trying to find the way yourself, feeling along every wall, hoping for a door in the dark. That's no way to live. Jesus said, I've come, I'm the light of the world. He who follows me will never walk in the darkness. Never, if you keep walking, you'll never walk in the darkness, but you will have the light of life. And you might say, well, Jesus has gone back to heaven. Isn't it dark again now? No, he sent his Holy Spirit. In fact, he said to the, the, the scribes and Pharisees one day, the light is with you for only a short time now. Believe while you have the light that you may become sons of light. In other words, when you believe in Jesus and walk with him and walk in the light, that light enters you. And you have Jesus Christ in you. The light of the world is shining in you. That's why I said to the church, you are the light of the world as well. I'm the light of the world. You're the light of the world. Let's shine for Jesus today by shaking off the darkness, putting on the armor of light and walking in the light and in the truth of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you today that you are the light of the world. 
that when we know you, we don't have to walk in any darkness. And we ask you, Jesus, that you would shine into every area of our life. Let us become truly light in you and shine your light to those around us today. Lord, help us come out of all darkness and live in the light and experience your cleansing today. Amen.